preterm labor the labor starting before 37 weeks is known as preterm labor it is caused by infections pelvic inflammatory disease urinary tract infections also it is caused by uterine over distension due to polyhydramnias to in pregnancy large baby there can be uterine anomalies like septate uterus bicornuate uterus uh, materno fetal stress can be there cervical abnormalities like incompetent cervix and cervical lacerations the newborn complications in case of preterm labor is respiratory distress syndrome intraventricular hemorrhage necrotizing enterocolitis bronchopulmonary dysplasia neonatal deaths and the maternal complications can be endometritis and puerperal sepsis for the diagnosis of the preterm labor uh, we can check uterine contractions that is 4 times in 20 minutes and 8 times in an hour on pel on per vaginum examination of cervix 1 cm dilated and more than 80% effaced is present in preterm labor for the management of the preterm labor for the lung maturity we will give steroids it can be given in iv and im dexamethasone 6 mg 12 hourly four doses and beta methasone 12 mg 24 hourly two doses artificial surfactants should be given postnatally that are serventa exosof tocolytics should be used um such as calcium channel blockers that are nifedipine it is the drug of choice uh, starting dose is 30 mg and maintained with 20 mg it is the first line and the safest drug we can also give calcium channel antagonist we can also give calcium antagonist magnesium sulfate it is neuroprotective but the side effects are hypocalcemia the safest tocolytic used is progesterone but it is used as prophylax prophylaxis nitro nitric oxide donors like nitroglycerin patch it is a smooth muscle dilator and the dose is 0.2 mg per hour to 0.4 mg per hour for the lung maturity assessment we need to check the lecithin sphingomyelin ratio that is 2 is to 1 so for the lung maturity assessment we will do shake test in which we will do amniocentesis and take out amniotic fluid in the inner test tube and add a saponifying agent if the fats if the fats in the amniotic fluid will convert into soap on shaking and bubbles are formed then the test is positive likewise we can do tap test in this if the bubbles are formed the test is positive and the surfactant is present we can also do nile blue sulfate test for the prevention of preterm labor we will add prophylactic antibiotics and progesterones we will do cervical circlage the cervical circlage should be applied when the cervix is less than 2.5 cm and it should be removed at at or before 37 weeks the uh, the methods which are used for the circlage are mcdonald stitch and worm stitch